Legends, welcome back to another episode of where I test every single vehicle that I can find in Forza Horizon 4. The vehicle that I'm testing today is a very special vehicle. It's a 2002 BMW M3 GTR. Um, some of you might know of a modified version of this which is extremely popular among gamers, um, especially around the 2000s, mid 2000s. Um, this is the poster vehicle of Need for Speed Most Wanted, the original one. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. It's a Class A 765, um, mid tiered Class A vehicle, rear wheel drive. Um, yeah, and the engine sits in the front. So, just a note the, the vehicle that's actually in, most, in Need for Speed Most Wanted is the race car version of this version of the of the vehicle this is the street version of that same you know type of car they made that for the gt class racing back in the day um yeah google google about it it's very interesting it's super super cool and these vehicles are super rare like really really rare so i'm um, talking now in real life um yeah check it out totally recommend it That V8, screaming V8. It certainly feels nippy, like it responds quite well. Uh, you can you can feel it's still a heavy vehicle, but it's nippy as compared to the normal M3. good on the dirt. So you just need to be careful for that tipping point, saturation of the wheels. It's, the tires are not great. I <laughs> don't know what it is with these BMWs, but I have got horrible tires. <laughs> Except for the 1991 BMW M3, it's got okay tires. Okay. See the interior? Yeah. It's pretty much the same. The, the other M3, very similar. And but that V8 sounds good. Can you hear those straight cut gears in the gearbox? Certainly feels better. Visibility is, is good ish. I feel it's just a little bit on the part. Again, it's naturally aspirated. So it's quite impressive, you know. Gearbox is not that quick, but yeah, it's an interesting vehicle, very interesting. So 256.3, I would say it's relatively quick for a Class A vehicle, um, but yeah, it's tricky on the dirt, tricky, it's got quirks, but it just needs more power, but it's, yeah, it feels I don't know, you have to experience it for yourself. It's very interesting. It's very unique. 
I'm serious, like all of these cars in Forza, I know it sounds crazy, but they all have a unique feel. It's actually quite astounding how these people have created these vehicles, each, every single one of them, because that's, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to test all of the vehicles as well, is to really see, are they different, you know? <laughs> they are. All of them are. It's pretty amazing. All right, let's see how this vehicle does on cross country. I'm not expecting it to be good. As far as I know, this is supposed to be a track vehicle. And it certainly feels much better on the tarmac. So, let's find out. Feels okay, funny enough. I think the suspension is just a little stiff for this kind of terrain again. I think it sounds pretty good in the interior, but you, you can really feel that tipping point much more clearly on the exterior view. Certainly not designed for cross country, as you can see it's tearing itself apart. <laughs> I mean that is an extreme test. I don't expect anyone to survive a fall like that <laughs> in any vehicle really. In real life. Feels much better on the tarmac, but there you go. 320.5. Okay, see how it does on the drag strip. Right. It 
just trying to get some grip there. So it doesn't launch very well and it's a bit slow in the gear changes. Yeah, but it sticks well in the corners, eh? That's definitely what you can pick up from this thing. It's not fast, but it's it sticks well in the corners. How many gears does it have? Six, okay. There you have it. Not not very quick, but yeah, one oh six point seven. So for class A, hmm. Nee. Nee, nee, nee. Alrighty, let's see if it'll drift. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's see. Such odd gear ratios. That's a little drift. Needs more power. I think it could also just be the gear ratios. It's got potential. It feels like it could be a very balanced drift vehicle. Yeah, nice. Just. But it's a much better track day vehicle. Yeah, cool. There you have it, guys. This has been the 2002 BMW M3 GTR. Alrighty. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And if you want to support the channel, that'd be super. Comment below your thoughts on the vehicle. And yeah, love to hear what you think of it. And, um, and what you think of the real car. Awesome. Alrighty. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.